Let's look at a numerical on the adjustment coefficient. Claims on a portfolio of insurance policies follow a compound Poisson process. Okay. So if the claims are following a compound Poisson process, we have, we, have, we know uh, something about the adjustment coefficient, right? We know that lambda MXR should be equal to lambda plus CR, okay? So there is following an annual claim rate lambda. Individual claim amounts are independent, excess are independent. Follow an exponential distribution with mean mu. So the mean of the exponential distribution, the mean of the exponential distribution is mu, which means I could very well, uh, uh, I could very well uh, get my, for the exponential distribution, what is the value of my lambda? Lambda of the mean of an exponential distribution is 1 by lambda, right? So 1 by lambda is coming out as mu, which means lambda is 1 by mu. And I know that uh, the moment generating function for uh, uh, an exponential distribution is lambda by lambda minus t, right? The moment generating uh, function for a typical uh, exponential uh, distribution is lambda by lambda minus t, which means I could very comfortably go here saying in this example, the moment generating function is 1 by mu, uh, sorry, lambda is 1 by mu. So lambda is 1 by mu divided by 1 by mu minus t which is very much coming out as 1 by mu minus 1 minus mu t by mu, which is giving me 1 by 1 minus mu t. That is the moment generating function of x. So I could very well find out the moment generating function of r, which will give me 1 by 1 minus mu r. So this part is known. This part is there. Now, what else do I read? Okay. Premiums are received continuously and are set using a premium loading of theta. So, premium that is going with a loading of theta. So, okay. The insurer surplus is U. So, the mean individual claim amounts are independent and they have a mean of mu. So if individual claim amount is mu, there is a loading of 1 plus theta on the claim amount. So I can very well take C as mu times 1 plus theta. Now with all this information, I can very well first of all write this uh, expression. How am I writing that expression? lambda times what is the uh, mx of r mx of r is becoming 1 by 1 minus mu r is equal to i can very well take it as lambda plus cr c is becoming mu times 1 plus theta mu times 1 plus theta times r. So this is again a lambda factor. Lambda times mu times 1 plus theta r. So overall this is working out as if I am taking out lambda across, it is becoming 1 plus mu times 1 plus theta times r is equal to 1 by 1 minus mu r. This is the typical expression. So simplify it. That's the, that's the way out. Simplify it. So 1 minus mu r times this. Right. So 1 minus mu r times this I am simplifying it as 1 plus 
mu r plus mu theta r is equal to 1 or even more expansion 1 plus mu r plus mu theta r minus mu r minus mu squared r squared minus mu squared r squared theta is equal to 1. So I am taking this off, I am taking this off. So overall 1 r also I can take it out. Right, if I am taking out 1 r also across mu theta minus mu squared r right mu theta minus mu squared r minus mu squared theta r is equal to 0. Now from here I can take uh, the r to the other side. r times mu squared plus mu squared theta is equal to mu theta. So I can take one mu out as well. So like if I am taking one mu out, it is coming out like r equal to theta by mu into 1 plus theta. So this is what is coming out as the value of r. The adjustment coefficient in this kind of a compound Poisson process scenario, I am quite comfortably able to compute the adjustment coefficient r in terms of theta and mu using this particular expression.